Hello, I'm Charles with Dependable Computer Guys. I'm one of their senior network engineers. From time to time, when you set up a, a new device on your network, you'll need to give it a DHCP reservation. And uh, this is the procedure of how to do it. Uh, for our experiment here, I'm going to be setting up an HP LaserJet 2300N. I already know its IP address, and I already know its MAC address. I found, found those out with other utilities like IPScan and uh, DOS uh, ARP command, ARP-A. So from your Windows 2003 server, you're going to need to get into the DHCP service. Uh, get into computer management, go to DHCP under scope and reservations. Uh, this is where we're going to be doing our work under reservations in, inside of DHCP. So to set up your reservation, you'll need to right-click on Reservations and go to you'll need to right-click on Reservations and go to New Reservation. On the reservation name, you can type anything you'd like. Uh, pretty much this name will change as you uh, mess around in DNS, but uh, that's for another story. For now, I'm going to give it DHCP reservation name of HP uh, 20. 300. I'm going to throw on the end of that our domain uh, .dcgla.local. Uh, DCGLA and for the IP address, I already know I want to do 192.168.1.40. So I'll put the IP address in. And then the last line to complete your DHCP reservation will be the MAC address. I'm just going to copy and paste that in since I already know it in advance. And you can give it a description if you desire to have some sort of reference uh, later in case that reservation name changes. The, to complete your process hit add and that will add that entry to your DHCP reservation list. So for your printer to now use that, IP, use that uh, DHCP reservation if it hasn't been set yet you should go over to your printer uh, turn it off and then turn it back on again and uh, if it's using DHCP to get its IP address that IP will uh, be assigned to it from your DHCP server. Okay, let me play again. Now to get into the properties of your DHCP reservation it's pretty hard to do. Uh, it doesn't happen instantaneously. Uh, it's, it's like half the time you'll get a connection to the properties of your HP or the device that you're trying to go to the properties of, you would highlight reservations, highlight your actual item on the left side of your uh, of your screen, and then you can right click, you'll see properties at the bottom. And then you can go back and edit in case your MAC address changes, uh, if you get a new uh, print server serving your printer, you can always go back and change the MAC address and edit your DHCP reservation and change it that way. Now to see if this worked, you'd want to go into your address leases. And here I'm going to highlight address leases and adjust my screen so I can see. And you can go about sorting sorting it by the unique I, unique MAC address, by the name of the product, the device that you're looking for, and even by the IP address. So to summarize, use DHCP reservations to guarantee your IP address is tied to your devices. So if you have any questions regarding this or any other networking issues, give me a call at Dependable Computer Guys. 